Haha, -ha, because you built that school, I murdered a bunch of children. <laughs> now everyone will know that Courier 6 is the bad guy. <laughs> Is it true you actually got in to see Mr. House? No. Unbelievable. Dean and I got the windows all done. Damn fine job on those windows and walls. And Dean was able to get a look at the wiring too? Outstanding. Yeah, he did. I was yeah. really needing this assessment of the wiring so I can start designing the power system for it. I want it to be totally off the grid. Why? But that'll take a while. Anyway, want to see what's next? What grid? I what <laughs> Grid! How are how do any of us have electricity for that matter? I mean, I know Helios One is like right down the road, but it's not like Helios One's sending any power this way. Did you wonder what that old terminal was good for? No. Well, it turns out I found a program on an old holotape I bought. I was picking the program apart, and I believe it came from one of those old vaults around here. Of course it did. Seems it'll interface with your pit boy and log what you're carrying in the inventory and sort it all out for you. That's handy. It's called SIMS, or Computer Inventory Management System. We can't use the computer without power, though. Yes, and we probably won't have the power on for a while, but there's still other things we need to do for this system to function. Besides that pit boy of yours and the terminal I'm fixing, we still need the storage containers it uses to stow your gear. I already have a few outside. You've probably seen them, but there's more we need to complete the system's requirements. Here, I got it all written down for you on this note. Will you see how many of these you can find? Scavenger hunt! Uh, two med kits, three toolboxes, six lockers. Well, let's go to the garbage pile because you had a lot of stuff there. All right. Everything is here in one convenient location. First aid kit, first aid kit. Um, some of these lockers might be useful. Locker, toolbox. Um... There was one toolbox here. Uh, toolboxes. He mentioned that they are in the back of trucks. We, we can look at the back of trucks. And there's a toolbox where that pickup truck used to be. What? Oh. What happened to the truck? Who deleted the truck? Somebody was cleaning up, but didn't tell Paul. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. Another toolbox. And that's the last ingredient we need, I think. If they have me go after more stuff, I need I need 17 truck leaf springs and two yucca plants and the the right wing feather of an emu. It better be they better send me to a loot cave filled with a bunch of raiders so that I can shoot all the raiders and then get all the stuff. Your finger is getting twitchy. I'm getting tired of not shooting things or shooting things in rewinding time so they don't know about it. I'm getting it. tired of it, Dean. Paul, where are you? Where are you hiding? Under the bed? There you are. Paul! Hello, friend. I wanted to give you a little something for what you did to help the folks here in Good Springs. What? what? Oh, we do have a great reputation here. Thank you. Yeah, I found all the containers. You got everything already? Wow, that's impressive. Well, there's one thing we need to talk about before we proceed. Oh? If you stored anything of value in any of those old lockers in the school, <laughs> you need to head out and grab your gear before we move forward. Dean's going to haul those old lockers off for scrap metal and set the new ones up for you. Who would keep anything of value in this school? you got to keep it in Doc Mitchell's house. Duh. Yeah, I don't have anything in there. Let's go. Listen, there's something that's been on my mind. It just ain't right having you sleep on that filthy old mattress in there. I was going to save this for later. But when Dean sets up the lockers, I'm going to get him to take a nicer bed over for you so you can be well rested. Well, that's kind of the least you. I can do. Much appreciated. So you'll have a much better bed and plenty of containers. Put anything in them you want and your gear will be perfectly safe. I know it's not quite a home yet, but we're getting there bit by bit. Go get some rest and when you're ready, we'll go over what we have left to do. But I'm ready right now. I'm ready right now, right this second. Is it true you actually got in to see Mr. House? No, I didn't. That's not true. Also, the wiring for the school. Let's do that. Why are you just sitting there with your mouth open, man? Why are you just sitting there with your mouth open? I can't believe you got that done so fast! Yes, luckily the wiring in the walls is intact and ready to be tied into the new solar power system. It's pretty genius, actually, but it's still very simple. The sun charges the batteries and the batteries power the screen. I know how solar power works. The batteries are inside of a UPS, or uninterrupted power supply, that Dean's been fixing up. Mm -hmm. He tells me that everything checks out so far except for the inversion coil in the thing. It's completely burned out and needs to be replaced. Also, in addition to the coil, we need a small solar panel to use to charge the whole thing up. Oh, an inversion coil? That sounds made up. Well, it's a nifty piece of tech. 
The simple explanation is the solar panel collects energy from the sun and sends it to the UPS system. The UPS system uses that energy to keep its batteries charged, but the power from the batteries is DC voltage. Oh, okay. And unfortunately, everything in the school runs off of AC voltage. I could have told you that. That's why the UPS has the inversion coil, or inverter, to convert the DC to AC so it can power up the school. It converts the power, feeds it to the transfer switch, which sends the power to the main panel and on into the school. Sounds complex. But what if the sun goes away? Yes, excellent question. That could be a problem, could it not? Well, this system also has a backup generator that kicks in if the batteries get too drained. The generator also recharges the batteries when the UPS is offline. Everything ties into the transfer switch, which controls which power source is being used. High tech. It transfers or switches back and forth between the solar and generator power, depending on which one is online. This mod has been brought to you by Solar Power for America. Where can we find a coil and the solar panel? Not sure, but the only place we might have a chance finding them would be that old solar energy facility called Helios 1. Hell, I'm not even sure you can get into that place anymore. NCR's got it on lockdown these days. That's fine, I'll just jump the fence. Are you up for giving it a shot? Yeah, I'll go. Now, I didn't mean literally give it a shot, so don't go getting yourself killed over this. I'll let Dean know to go ahead and get everything installed. If you can find that coil and solar panel, just give them to Dean when you come back. That way you two can work together on the installation. Good luck. We called it Helios 1 because we assumed there'd be more of them. Now we just look like stupid morons. No, I'm going to jump this fence. I'm not going through the whole building. There's barbed wire. And, uh, you can just crawl underneath it. Look at that. It was just a, look at that. Such a secure facility, right? <laughs> It's incredibly secure. Well, it's it would be incredibly secure if I wasn't the Terminator T-1000. Dun, 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 dun. See, look at that. Uh, that one kid in that movie is not going to stand a chance. Whatever his name was, I forget already. Have you seen this buoy? John, Sarah Connor? Sarah well, Connor John, doesn't stand a chance. John Connor. John Connor. Sean, Sean Connor. Sean Connor. Yes, it's definitely that. This generator really doesn't seem important at this time. Some non-vital generator in the middle of the... All right. Yeah, it really doesn't seem important. Okay. And we've already killed the robots here, so they... Unless they've repopulated, because they breed like rabbits. I mean, robots definitely do that. <laughs> Someone said movie traps for you, but it didn't work. Was it me that said those? <laughs> I may have done that. Maybe. <laughs> oh. I'm seeing a lot of blood. I found a stool. What's this? What the heck is this thing? It's weird. Um, that's a, that's a, that's a, uh. It's an anomaly is what it is. No, that's a Securitron egg. <laughs> is, is that how they make more? Yeah. All right. I found the inversion coil. Marvelous. And now we'll get the solar panel that isn't broken from us jumping on it. That's broken by natural causes. And it just fits directly into my pocket. Convenient. Dean, why are you already so injured? Who did this to you? You only have 18 health points. Don't forget, if you need some repairs, nobody will fix it as good as me, and I need the money. I have the inversion panel and solar coil. Something like that. I don't even want to ask you how you found that stuff. I just found well, it. Well, I guess it's a good thing I went ahead and prepped the spot for that solar panel then. Head over behind the school and look for the dark spot where I was digging. Grab that shovel and go ahead and mount the solar panel, if you will. It's just two wires to hook up, so it's not real complicated. Might not be complicated, but we're messing with electricity. Could be dangerous. I don't think that you have a PhD in solar cell fields. Do they grant PhDs for that? I mean, you definitely need to think about how your solar panels are going to be set up. You can't just go plopping one down willy-nilly. Watch us! Install, install the solar panel! You install the solar panel! You take a look at the base of the solar panel and, uh, yep. You can put it on the pipe and you do that thing! You install the solar panel and you quickly jot down the serial number. Why would I care about the serial number and where the solar panel was made from? In case you need to return it. To a company that's been dead for 200 years. Your brand new house is eco-friendly. Hey. Mm-hmm. Okay, the solar panel's up. Now what? Well, that must have gone smoothly. 
You're becoming an old pro at this stuff. You ain't trying to take my job, are you? Yes. I'd hate to think I'd be moping around town the rest of my life belly aching that you took my job. <laughs> anyway, this next part is going to be tricky, but I've got faith in you and know you can handle the job. You're going to get everything powered up. But that UPS still needs some fresh parts. You'll need to install that coil, six fresh fission batteries, and four fresh conductors to get it online. Oh, man. It might sound like a hard job, but it's pretty simple, really. Everything just plugs in exactly where it looks like it should go. So all you have to do is swap out the old stuff for the new. Easy as pie. Sounds good. You think you can handle it? Yeah, that sounds incredibly easy. One last thing. When that UPS comes online, I need you to look inside and see what the output display is reading. Write it down and bring it back to me. I need to set the calibration for the solar panel with it. Look inside real close, and then I definitely won't close the door on your face while you're doing that. He's not that kind of guy, I'm sure. Yeah, he is. Three. So convenient four, that they're all out here in the garbage area. Five. I'm really happy the townsfolk have been, have been dumping all their garbage out here. Makes life so much easier for us. Can you imagine having to scrounge and buy all these things? Ugh. I guess it goes right here in uh, the fuse box. Uninterrupted power supply, battery supply. Why is supply twice in this? Is this the ATM <laughs> machine? <laughs> yeah. Repair it. Oh, God damn it! That is the second time I've taken 750 milliamps directly across the chest. That's not great. Oh my, you got the scare of your life. And also, maybe your heart stopped for a second. Don't worry, you're alive still. I want to go throw up now. <laughs> There's a distinct odor of burning wire and electronics and also flesh. And my hair. Uh, I'm not happy about that. I'm not, I'm, I don't like it. This is probably because you had too much static. Yeah, that was it. Hey, been hot enough for you? It's wearing me out. Is that why your health is depleted right now, Dean? Did you get shocked doing stuff as well? Are we bad repair people? Was that a dig on been hot enough for you by the fact that I just almost electrocuted myself? <laughs> I heard it from Plum over here. You okay? We ain't got no workers comp, you know? That transfer switch must have been <laughs> stuck closed and when the UPS powered up, it shorted out the sensors and maybe even the board. Simple enough to fix though. See if you can find some more sensor modules and some scrap electronics. Collect what we need and install them in the transfer switch. Once everything is up and running, I think Paul wants you to go see him. To congratulate us on the amazing job we've done? And then we flip the switch, maybe? You need five intelligence for you to repair, two sensor modules, and two scrap electronics. All right, we'll go get the things. Okay. And then afterwards, maybe we can repair this hole in the fence. Well, then again, the hole is very convenient. Yeah, the hole makes it easier for me to get through there. Maybe after we fix everything up and then I get a bunch of turrets set up and I mine the entire thing. We can install a gate or a gate fence, a big dumb gate fence. It's come full circle. And then we repair the transfer switch. I examine the transfer switch and find two burned out sensor modules. I, how did I know that I was gonna need the sensor modules beforehand? <laughs> yeah. You should have said that before. All right, well, everything's fixed. Hey, Paul. Paul. I heard that fiend leader got killed. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Which one? The the UPS and transfer switch are online and the, the electricity is fine. I am not. I thought I heard some sort of commotion out there. What happened? I heard some screaming. Did you have some trouble? Uh, it almost exploded in my face. Well, that's okay. Dean wouldn't have let you get hurt. Guess some gremlins should be expected with equipment that old. You know... You're becoming an old pro with this stuff, ain't you? Say, I've been thinking about something. It looks like the next big project we need to tackle is getting some furniture put in there. Ooh. Well, we do have a couple of chairs. Ah, uh, but they're quest items and we can't remove them. Yeah. Well, I run a repair shop, not a furniture store. But a while back, I spoke with Chad about some of his suppliers. He put me in contact with a dealer that had just what I wanted and cheap, too. That's where that bed came from. He doesn't sell the high-dollar, brand-new kind of stuff, but... He cleans up what he finds, and it's all in great working order. That's why I get such good prices for his wares. So, when he brought me that bed, I went ahead and ordered a basic furniture package from him. He said he can ship on demand for 250 caps. He also said he's got leads on a lot of other stuff, too. So, what kind of stuff? 
He has some decorations that can go in as the furniture is being set up. He said the decorations include some old miniature antique toys and whatnot. Seemed fitting for an old school to me. Well, those could be fun. He also said he had an old oven he was converting so you could craft stuff on it, cook up recipes and so forth. Since I already got in orders for this stuff, just let me know what you want to buy. Just pay me for the things you want and I'll get them delivered and set up. Why should I have to pay for any of this stuff in your house? Well, it's kind of like the old saying I heard as a child. Something about a chair still being a chair even when nobody's sitting in it. What? But a house not being a home when there's nobody there. Something like that anyway. Came from a song, I believe. Point is that I've got way fewer days ahead of me than I've had behind, and with all the work you put into it... No, 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 go back! What the fuck are you talking about? You should have someone living there who appreciates it and who will make it a home, not just some old fixed-up schoolhouse. Just make me a promise that if you ever decide to pull up and head out of here and never to return, just bring the deed back to me, okay? Oh, all right. So when you're ready, just pay me for the furniture and decorations. After that, we can check on the other items the supplier's looking for. What the hell is your angle? No, no, I don't want it. He just wants you to live here because you're a friend of the town, and he knows that no one would dare come into town and mess with you. Uh-huh, yeah. And, and nobody, survive. Nobody is actually nice. So long for now. Okay, thank you for the deed. I guess we own a schoolhouse now. I, okay. Give us furniture for that house. Now, how about those decorations? You want to go ahead and buy them too? Yes. That way we can get them all set up at the same time. Everything. I'll take it all. Excellent. Everything should be done in a day or so. Thank you, friend. Come back and see me when everything is all set up, and we'll see what else is available. In a day or so! Yay. I guess we'll wait until tomorrow by sleeping in our brand new house! <laughs> Alright, lights. I want lights. Where are, where are... There we are! Oh man, lighting is so much better now. Uh, that's not perfect. That, that terminal... Oh, uh, well we were supposed to wait for... We were supposed to wait until the lockers were, were removed, remember? Oh, oh well. And we uh, st still only have... How are planks still appearing? <laughs> They're multiplying. Oy. Very, very difficult day. Your furniture and decorations have been delivered, apparently. It just slowly appeared. Your bed got updated while you were sleeping in it. <laughs> no, it waited until afterwards. <laughs> it waited until after the fact. Damn. Look at all this. No. We're not doing... There we go. That's better. Why are you shooting Action Ape's new friends? That's not his new friend. That's not his new friend. I don't trust this guy. That elf on a shelf. I had never even heard of that as a thing until like two years ago. Yeah, I know. And now everyone's talking about it like it's been this thing forever. For as long as I can remember, there's always been elf on a shelf. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? what? No, it hasn't. Have you actually looked into that? I've never had Elf on a Shelf, never heard of it before. Have you actually looked into what Elf on a Shelf is? Yeah, you're supposed to put an elf on a shelf and tell the child that the elf is reporting to Santa, so you better not do anything bad in its eyes. All it's all, all that is doing is just like, hey kid, get ready for police state to constantly be, be monitoring you 100% of the time, oh, yeah. all the time. I'm not it's saying totally it's okay. a good, I'm not saying it's a good thing, no. If you have Elf on a Shelf, you need to seriously reevaluate your life decisions. Be a better parent, maybe. Yeah. Take it from us, two childless adults. There's not really a cooking area. I mean, there's a fridge. No, and a... see, there's a cooking area. Look, they just slapped the sink on top of a counter. <laughs> yeah, but there's no no cooking area. Like, ugh, ugh. It's fine. I got a microwave. Why? There's two cots in the bathroom. All right. That's strange, but all right. The oven has been delivered. The workbench has been delivered. The alarm has been delivered. Healing station has been delivered. Oh, there it is. There's a lab. Wow, that rip, man, it really took them a long time to get that installed. Yeah, I can see, <laughs> I can see, I can see how that took so long to get installed. All right. And this room is, this, this room is open concept, which I can't say I'm a huge fan of, but I also don't hate it. And we could use the computer to sort stuff. How can Sims it? We can sort chems, perishables, alcohol, clutter, explosives, collectibles, and options. Uh, no, it just removes everything from your inventory and throws it directly into the lockers. Oh, that's also so, convenient if you're expecting it. So now I have to go into the lockers and take everything out of the lockers. 
Great, well, this is a house, and I'm never gonna come back in here again. That's what I think about people who play Wonderwall at parties. Paul, what I said deluxe, that included garden. Yes, sir, another scorcher here in the Mojave. How you doing, neighbor? Oh, we're doing fine. Where's my garden? It's October! <laughs> the guy that sold us all that other stuff has some old growing boxes real cheap. We'll have to put in a little irrigation system for them because nothing's going to grow in this heat without a little water. So you want to go ahead and send in the money for it now? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, I guess. Well, neighbor, looks like you got everything we can add to the place up and running. Don't call me neighbor. I think the place can finally be called a real home now. Yeah. Feel free to check in with me from time to time if you need some supplies. And of course, Dean can always repair your gear if you need it. Take care of the place and yourself. And don't be a stranger, okay? Okay, goodbye. I am happy with the work we've done, and I would be proud to call you neighbor if we were remaining here, but we're kind of nomadic and we go where we please, so that's a nice garden. I go where the wind and buddy chicken take me. Yeah, yeah that's a nice garden. Brock flower here, which is great. Uh, we didn't grow any Xander root. We can't make stim packs. That's unfortunate. All that work, and they couldn't be bothered to, uh, to plaster up the walls, huh? No, he said he was going to charge us extra for that. See, that's how he makes his business. You see, he gets you to get invested in a place, and then he starts charging you for additional repairs. All that scrap wood we could have put up there. What the? Wow, I got gray all of a sudden. I actually really like it now. This is great. Overcast days are the best. It makes the colors pop. We didn't fix the fence either. The fence, the fence got destroyed. What? By... What? Whatever, whatever, whatever. All right. It's the only reason I did any of this stuff with the house is because I'm just going to immediately rent it out for exorbitant rates. Oh, you can become a landlord, the thing you hated. Yep, exactly. I'm going to rent the house out for uh, 20 times over market value, and I'm just going to go, because the market can bear it. <laughs> and every six months, you'll raise the rents, and what are they going to do? Move into a different place? Yeah, if they try to move, I'll just charge them three months' rent. And then take them to small claims court, because they can't pay it. Wow, you suck. Yeah, I'm a real fucking piece of shit. Dean, you are asking to complete your Courier 6 cosplay. Because <laughs> you're going to shoot him in the head. <laughs> yup. I get it. Two sensor modules and two scrap electron. Okay. Do you have five intelligence or is that you got to debuff after the electricity zap? I mean, I am not very smart. 